K-I-L-R Killer Games So, what is the Stanley Parable? Well, simply put, it is an interactive storytelling experience designed by Davy Redden. It was originally released on July 27, 2011 as a free mod for Half-Life 2. Redden, or that might be Redden, wanted to challenge the notion of how most games confine the user to its rules. Choose your own adventure. That's pretty much the type of game uh, that this is, which is narrated by Kevin Brighting. Now, this uh, game also appeared in the third season of House of Cards, and here is a clip from that. What is the point? That is the point. It just started over again. It keeps doing that over and over. Ignore his instructions, he sends you back. Well, what if I follow his instructions? Mm. Chaos takes over. No. Randomness. It's impossible to follow the rules. Another time. It's too much like my real life. Mm. All right. So now that we've seen a little bit and learned a little bit about the uh, Stanley Parable, let's jump in and play it ourselves. Hello and welcome gamers. I am the Killer Gamer. And I'm Nerd Gamer. 2K. Or 2000. <laughs> or 2000. And this is the Stanley Parable, because it's a parable and it's Stanley. And, uh, and this is a computer and it's actually going into infinity, I just noticed. Yeah, it's actually pretty cool. <laughs> that is kind of insane. Because look at this, you can uh, go up and down and yeah, that's some crazy stuff. Alright, so let's go ahead and begin this interesting game here. Because the end is never the end is never the end is loading. It is never the end, never, never the end. It is never, never the end is loading. The end is loading. The end is loading. Loading, never the end. The loading screens are always the longest part. That sounds like a song. <laughs> <laughs> loading is the longest part. Eh, I'll make it into a song. <laughs> Click. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Don't. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. The orders came to him through a monitor on the desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and him on order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. Although others might have considered it so winning, Stanley relished every moment that he was in the As though he had been made in Sanctuary for his job, Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. 
He found this pants. Uh, 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 have you Something found my? Uncle, have you seen my pants? <laughs> We realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shot, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. No, actually, I want to. I want to just sit here and wait. I'm going to stare at the screen. La la la. Let's see if he says something. Dum, dum, dum. Does it ever say anything? I don't know. I wonder if you can input stuff into the computer. No. Although I do know that there's... If you have it on Steam, there's an achievement called the Impossible Achievement where you actually go into the game code and you basically hack it differently and that's how you get the achievement. Ah. Well, this is definitely Steam. Yeah. Alright, well, I guess we'll get up because it doesn't want to do anything. We're 2 7. Whoa! That's awfully quick. It's just walking. That's a very fast walk. Eh. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. You can also click on No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. I don't have a cursor or a hand or anything. But you can still clicky click. Shouldn't I have a cursor? No. Oh, okay. I'm in a daze. Wee! I have no idea where I'm going. Let's go this way. I don't, because there's no other way to go. Well, we know the clickies works. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference, nor did it advance the story in any way. <laughs> Oh, did that just turn off? Yeah, you turned the monitor off. <laughs> oh, look at the picture. Nope, can't, can't do nothing with that. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Why would I want to do that when I can go over here? That's bright. That, like, hurt my eyes. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, as Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Let's do that. admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Yeah, but I can't drink anything from this soda machine. Well, you don't have any money. Oh, I can't sit down either. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. I don't want to take that door. I'd rather go forward. Stanley was so bad at following directions that it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. <laughs> penalty for misused cargo lift, 1,000. Penalty for jumping off the cargo lift. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're going to die. 
Okay, we won't jump off then. They might charge your family though. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. Space is also jump. There's someone you've been neglecting. No, wait, no, never mind, there's no jump. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. Her. There's our her. Stanley, your chance to redeem yourself. To, to put your work aside. To, to let her back into your life. Her. her. She's been waiting. She's been waiting for you. How romantic. That's her, Stan. So bright. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. Pick up the phone. Oof. Good morning, employee. Press R on your keyboard. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him. And every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Maybe I should have pressed another button. Press 9. No. Okay, I don't have a choice. Look at him there, pushing buttons. Doing exactly what he's told to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now, he's eating lunch. Now, he's going home. Now, he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen his life. <laughs> Press E. But in his mind, ah, in his mind, he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. Wonderful. Each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. Um, and so he began to fantasize about his own Where's job. the TV? First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped out from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. So, he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. My goodness, there's a lot of keys. As he wandered through this yeah. fantasy world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game of the baby. Oh. And he called it the Stanley <laughs> Parable. <laughs> the baby, yes. That was on my video. It was such a wonderful fantasy. And so in his head, he relived it again. And then again. And again. Over and over. Wishing beyond hope that it would never end. That he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path. But maybe perhaps if he played just one more time. Press I. But there is no answer. How could there possibly be? In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets. The more he forgets which life is the real one. 
Just wanted to go to sleep. And I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world, you know, you should look around the room. About an observer. As, as long as he remains here, oh my he's goodness. slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stand me. The next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. Do it. It says please. I'm like looking to see if maybe Second, he remains here. He's electing to kill himself. How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? Hm. So I can't, not in the way I wanted to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose. It's the same as Stanley. I'm not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Must. Perhaps. Well, Maybe this time you'll see. Maybe this time. Maybe this time. And I tried again. Please die. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried. I mean, <laughs> it said please. <laughs> and I'm assuming it just start over. Yep. All right, well, so what we'll do is we'll end it there and we'll just do another video next time because the parable just continues because the end is never the end is never, never, never the end. So thanks for watching. Click thumbs up, subscribe so that way you know when the next parable is here and there's always other videos to watch because they're this way and this way and you can go to the left and you can go to the right but we recommend that you click over here and there and press those buttons go ahead go ahead do, press, it. do it do it do it do it now